So on the scale ruler worksheet, we're going to take our scale ruler. For those of you that have this one here, um, we have your one-inch scale, half-inch scale, and quarter-inch scale. There are different scales on this piece of paper. And we're going to fold this over so that we have a nice straight edge along the top of the one-inch scale. And if we line up our paper like so, to the zero on one end in the one inch scale, it's going to go from zero to five foot and six inches. Right. So this line here is five foot six inches long. Now, if we take a regular scale ruler, and we find the one inch scale right here, we would put this down on the paper, and we start at the zero, and we have five feet, and then it goes to between five feet and six feet, so that would be five foot six inches. Now another way of using this triangular scale rule is instead of doing this, this is really obvious because it's to the six inch mark, we put the five foot here on the end, And we go back to the zero, so that's five feet there, and then we look at the inches, and it lines up to the six inches, which is on the one inch, the, the individual lines here for the, for the inches. Okay, so you really need to have your, your real scale rulers by the time you get back. Okay, the paper scale ruler doesn't cut it for the class, but for this worksheet it'll work. In this particular example, doing the paper on paper, the accuracy of the paper one because the lines are as thick as they are, is not as great as we'd like it. The accuracy of this plastic one is going to be better. And if we take a really close look at this line and we line it up right at the end, we see that according to the plastic uh, roller, this thing is five feet six and a quarter inches long, uh, according to this. And when we're dealing with one inch scale, we can get that accurate especially when you're using a nice sharp pencil. The width of your pencil in scale makes a difference when you're drawing your lines. So that's one inch scale. If we move to half inch scale, we use the other end of the scale ruler. And in this case, the closest line here, I'm going to put this at zero, we get to a six there. We move this over so the six is on the end of the line. We have six foot zero. Oh, of, well, six foot zero, and then one, two, about two and a half. So that's six foot two and a half in half inch scale. Here you go. Here's that. Okay. So when you're drawing your dimension lines, and when you do this problem, you need to start doing concentrating on your dimension lines. So I'm going to take my triangle and draw a little tick line there. A little line here. Draw a line from one end to the other with a little bit of an arrow. Okay, so if I take my paper scale ruler, I fold to the uh, half inch edge so I can get in there nice and tight. Six feet to there, I have to move over. And on the paper one, it's six foot three. Because right, we've got about three inches. So I'm going to write down here six foot three, six feet dash three inches. And when you're writing down your dimension, you want to follow the protocol or the nomenclature that the book is using in the dimension chapter. Um, and that's how you fill it in. And I'd like you to get in the practice of using a ruler so you have a nice straight edge, a nice straight line on these dimension lines. You might as well get into that practice now. If you want to make a, a copy of this and do your measurements, you know, if you're on spring break, just do the measurements so you have them and then come in and draw them, that's fine. The measurement, same measurement here to the bottom. So I'm going to take a vertical line here and move a vertical line over here. And then draw my horizontal. little arrows, and then you're going to write your five foot six 
six inch mark in there, along with the apostrophe and the quotation mark, for feet and inches. Uh, so that's nice and clean, and the ends want to go all the way to the end. So as you're doing this project, um, you can even draw all these lines first and then fill them in later. You don't need to do the line and the measurement at the exact same time if you don't want to. Just like so. A square line there. Okay. And then you've got your measurement line. It should be a little bit more in the middle, but there it is. And your verticals, for the vertical measurement on this one. and then add the measurement. Okay. So that's how you're going to do your worksheet and um, I encourage you to use um, your straight edge.